I'd rather tackle this together with you. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. We should team up. Okay, if that's how you feel, we'll go together. Don't get any funny ideas. I'll be running the show. You make it sound so romantic. Excuse me. Yes? Nice knives. Yes, they were a gift from my father, the greatest knife thrower in North Africa. I'm trying to follow his example. But alas, no one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. Do you know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? He has a shop nearby, behind the marketplace. Sorry to bother you. No bother. I just wish a volunteer would step forward to assist me. Listen. What? I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No, you don't, Jones. Think about the effect on international relations. I'm thinking about the effect on my health. Come on, assist the guy, will ya? Nope, nope, nope. Please, it's perfectly safe. Oh, sure. I wouldn't trust that man to cut carrots. You're not really looking. Observe that superb technique. Oh, all right. Gee, knives make me nervous. Oof! Look here, ladies and gentlemen. A volunteer. But... Now, now, my dear, there's nothing to be afraid of. But... Just walk over to the board, now. <laughs> Ta-da! Thank you for your brave assistance, my dear. Allow me to express my gratitude by giving you this souvenir knife. Here, take this knife before I use it on you. He's a grocer. Excuse me. Yes? What looks good today? Today we have a special squab on a stick, only 20 dinars. Do you accept U.S. currency? Sorry, no. Oh, a squab would sure hit the spot. Twenty dinars, if any. Maybe we can make a deal. What kind of deal? I'll give you my fine leather jacket for a squab. In this heat, don't be absurd. I've got another offer. Make it. I'll trade this beautiful knife for a squab. I already have several of those knives. The knife thrower has notoriously bad aim. Don't go away. I'll get back to you. Funny. Looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nurab Sal. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Fendi? Are you Mr. Omar Al Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? 
Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the lost kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? I've got a PhD, will that do? <laughs> you have quite a sense of humor, I see. Wait one minute. So you think you can just troll out of here without paying? Well, how much does it cost? That mask? On second thought, you can have it. It's been scaring away all my best customers. Here we are. But what does Trottier look like? How should I know? I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. What makes you think we'll find Trottier here? All his letters mention how much he likes strolling under the bright lights. Suppose Trottier shows up. What then? Bring him up to my room. This plan sounds kind of harebrained to me. Don't worry, it'll work. He used to have one of the three stones. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. A seance? I'll go get ready. Just a moment, please. Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, 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 I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Actually, I'm just a simple professor. Well, leave the modesty to me, sir, Alain Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. Normally, I spend my nights at home, but the book of changes indicated, who well, simply put, a change. And here I bump into you. Ah, what good fortune. Madame Sophie is in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear my wife will kill me unless I forget my crazy dreams. To persuade me to ignore her wishes, answer me this. Why did the Atlanteans build their huge colossus? To make themselves like gods. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. How can I help you? Follow me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I am not sure. Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. Well, I need money. Perhaps Madame can tell me which phase of the moon is best for gambling. So, I'll do it. Please lead the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Keep him busy. I'm going to try something. All right, then. Give me a minute while I set him up. 
Ah, oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then, I need a token of power to set the mood. Well, I have the stone key. I truly believe it is from the lost city. Very good. Very good indeed. Now we can begin. I think I'm getting something. We must find my spirit guide. Look into my eyes. We must find my spirit guide. Leave no stone unturned. I can't move it. A stitch in time. We must find my spirit guide. I can't move it. I can't move it. Let's move on. I can't pick that up. I think I'm getting something. I can't move it. The lights, what happened to the lights? Uh, I think Narab Sal is trying to signal us. Does he have to wave that flashlight around? Oh, it's very unnerving. Do you mind, Dr. Jones? Sorry. Oh, I feel the presence of Nurab Sal approaching us. Ooh. Well done, Indy. Looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Trottier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. I better put the flashlight back. I better put the sheet back. Wait for me! Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I've got this stone. Stone, you say? Let's see it. Here it is. Take a look. Ah. It is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. This looks like one of them. A sunstone, if I'm not mistaken. Dr. Jones. How do you know who I am? Yeah, how? My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al-Jabbar, you know these things. Then you are Al-Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. Let's get down to business, shall we? What do you know about Atlantis? Yes, tell us. Well, somewhere deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. 
What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. The designs are unmistakable. Whose dig is it? Europeans. Germans, I believe. Where is it exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. We'll go. We will? I admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. We'll never give up. Well then, let it be as God wills it. Come, I'll lend you my map. And a couple of sturdy camels. You've returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? Okay, except our camels died a mile out of town. A terrible shame. Those were my last two camels. Perhaps I can make amends in some small way. Do you still have that mask I gave you? Yeah, I've got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. Will you give me? That depends. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This baseball? It's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. I'll trade you this autographed baseball for a squab. Mm hmm. I'm afraid I cannot make that trade, Effendi. But it does remind me to get my son a birthday present. I've got another offer. Make it. I'll give you my Atlantean sunstone for a squab. What do you take me for offering me some worthless hunk of rock? Don't go away. I'll get back to you. <laughs> 